everyone welcome back Dimma here today's video is going to be all about makeup today I will be sharing with you guys my top two products in every makeup category that was a mouthful but guys you guys know what I'm saying so top two products in every makeup category this is not quite a favorites video I wouldn't say that it's a favorites video because with favorites videos sometimes you end up just sharing one product in this video I will share with you guys what I consider absolute faves holy grails as of 2023 and the next best thing to them and sometimes it's not even next best thing like the, the other products I show are not necessarily next best things they will literally be of the same quality and it's always like an either or thing for me so I'm really excited because I haven't talked to you guys about makeup like this in a while so let's get to it so first we're going to start off with primers and the first primer that I have here is this one by NARS it's their soft matte primer this is my first primer ever by NARS. Prior to this, I'd never used any primer from them. This primer will keep you matte, but then it doesn't dry you out. It feels almost like a lotion. I use it all the time. I actually did a makeup favorites video last year. I'm going to have it linked in the description box. And this primer was what I use. It is so good. It will help control oil for you if you have combination to oily skin like me, but then it's not drying. It gives your makeup a very, very nice base to sit on. So NARS Soft Matte Primer. Another primer that I really like is the Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Primer. This, I've had this for longer than I've had the NARS Primer for. This one has almost like a gel-like consistency, I would say, and it's also not drying. With this particular primer, so the NARS Soft Matte feels like a lotion when you apply it. However, this one feels like a serum when you apply it. You don't get that silicone feeling that you get with a lot of silicone primers because this is not a silicone primer to be honest but i'm just trying to explain the feel you get with it it feels like a serum it's very very lightweight it sits on the skin in a way that i consider to be very very lovely it just gives your makeup a very nice base to sit on okay it doesn't emphasize texture it doesn't make your makeup look patchy it doesn't dry your skin out i really love it so if you have oily skin and you're looking for good primers to try, then I would highly recommend this. One thing I'm going to say before I continue with this video is that I also did not do, like this video is not like high-end versus drugstore or high-end versus affordable. That's not what it is. I really wanted to show you guys products that I swear by and I didn't want to be forced to pick a second product from a category just because of price point, if that makes any sense. So some of the products that I have here are more affordable or they're affordable. Some of them are even Nigerian brands, but then this is not like a high-end versus um affordable thing it's just products that i like okay okay and also i want to add before i move on that these products like this doesn't mean that there are no other products that i like in this category because you guys will see that i actually also talk about products that i consider decent or good that i possibly like but just consider this video like gone to your head they might pick two these two are what i would most likely pick okay so let's move on the next set of products that i have are foundations okay and the first one here is okay so let me talk about the mac studio fix fluid a lot of people that i have met have a love hate relationship with this foundation however i personally love it and i use this for years to the point where i would use it in my videos and people will be in the comments being like Dima, how do you get this to work for you it just works for me it's one of those foundations that i consider to have a very great formula that works for people with different skin types okay the only thing about the maxio fix fluid is that finding your shade or getting matched properly especially at the counter can be very very tricky and when i hear people complain about maxio fix fluid it's always something around like being matched or the way they were matched but outside of that i consider this a very good foundation for my skin type combination to oily skin it gives you very good coverage it is buildable the only thing I'd just say is that you don't necessarily want to kick this on, but what I'd say it will give you wear that kind of lasts you throughout the day. It's also one of the few foundations that I really like that has SPF 15 in it. So let us say like on a good day, you actually skip SPF, which I'm not recommending that you do. This is a good foundation and kind of gets at least your face covered while you're wearing it. So Max Studio Fix Fluid, um, the shade I have here is NT47, I think, um, but this is a very, very good foundation. Like I, I don't even have anything in this bottle, I think. I've just not repurchased like 
but it's very very good it's a very good foundation so if for any reason i can't find this one that i'm holding right now i'm going for my mac studio fix fluid and this is the nars share glow foundation in macau i've talked about this so much at this point that i think in almost every beauty video that i've put out between last year and now i was speaking about this this and it's what i'm wearing right now it's an amazing foundation I would highly recommend this for people who have oily to combination skin, combination to oily skin, sorry. I would highly recommend this for people who have dry, normal skin. The formula is one of those that I can see working for everyone. It does not sit heavy on the skin. It does not dry the skin out. Like with this foundation, you can also layer it very, very well. It doesn't have a very thick consistency. It works great. I live in Nigeria, so it can be very hot and humid here. This works so great for our weather. And this is one of Nars' oldest foundation, one of their much more older foundations, not even one of the more recent ones that they've released. It is so good. My shade in this is Macau. And it's just amazing. The shade is a perfect match, a perfect fit for me. I just like it a lot. The only thing downside with this is that it doesn't come with a pump. Just like the Max Studio Fix fluid too and in 2023 i don't understand why brands still do this so you'd have to buy a pump separately but i feel like one pump is enough so this is like my second or third bottle of this foundation i got a pump once and every time i open a new ba 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 not ba bottle i transfer the old pump into the new bottle but this is a very very good foundation very good most of the time i think i'm going to keep re repeating this in this video most of the time people like us who have combination to oily skin you go to makeup counters, they push very, very mattifying things towards you. When you actually switch to products like this, like, and it's kind of the same thing with the primers I already talked about, you will see that you actually don't need products that are very, very mattifying to end up with a good base or a base that wears well throughout the day, okay? Really like this. Okay, so next product, brows. These are brow pencils. And in this particular case, one is actually very, very cheap, like way, way cheaper than one. So the first one, I'm going to talk about the more affordable one, is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Banging Brunette. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, that I was obsessed with this for such a long time. Like, it is the one thing that I would buy and buy and buy. Colourpop also delivers to Nigeria. However, you get your products through the post office, which can be a bit tricky, but this is such a gorgeous brow pencil. It will give you the type of definition you want. If you want to use a light hand with this and give yourself very short, gentle strokes, this works. If you want a very dark, like, dark rich brow this is going to work it's also not one of those brow pencils that you kind of end up it gets waxy as it wears no it actually looks good throughout the day it's so well made as well considering the price you have an end that twists up in this end and here you get a spoolie i think that considering the price that you pay with this this is such a it's such a good brow pencil i would recommend this from as long as Colourpop makes it, I will keep recommending it to anybody. So this particular brow pencil, which is what I used when I was doing my makeup today, I fell in love with last year. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat Pencil. It's their Micro Precision Brow Pencil. And this is in dark brown. I love this because it has a very thin, like a very, very thin pencil. And not only is it thin, it's also angled. What I've found with this is that because it is angled, it makes it very easy for me to fill in my brows a certain way. It makes it easy because of the angle to draw short strokes. It makes it very, very easy to outline the bottom and top of your brows. I just like it a lot. Um, it's more expensive than the Colourpop brow pencil, but this is one thing that if you can afford to splurge on a brow pencil, this is as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned. It's a very, very good product. So the next set of products that I have here are concealers and these are my absolute faves. And if you've also been watching me for a while, you will just know by how often I use this or by how often these two products appear or have appeared in the list of products used, just how much I love them. So the first one that I have here, I really, really love. It's the more expensive one, but this is a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. This is, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best concealers that has ever been made in this world, okay? It covers 
or gives you very good coverage it blends out so well it has a very very creamy consistency it comes with a wand for you to apply my favorite thing about this is the fact that it does not dry out you know like a lot of concealers are good right so you get the um, cream concealers that yeah blending them out is much easier and you can always come back like 10 minutes after applying before you set to blend it out again but the thing with those type of concealers is that it creases really quickly they crease really quickly and then you get the ones that are kind of marketed to be crease proof or not to crease as quickly and then what you see with those ones is that they kind of dry out really quickly like mid application sometimes just like within five minutes they've set I don't know how Too Faced has managed to do it with this concealer, but this concealer gives you time to blend. It doesn't set too quickly. It doesn't crease once you've actually set it. It's just like a very, very good like balance between like cream and like fast drying concealers, I would say. The color that I would always use to highlight, because that's what I use on my immediate under eye area, is butterscotch. This is very, very good. I'll recommend this for people with all skin types. It's a very good concealer. I think that this even works. I've seen people on YouTube use this as a foundation, okay? It just works amazing. So this is one of those concealers that you can use to define your brows, you can use to define underneath your eyes, you can use to contour, you can use this for so many things. It literally is a multi-use concealer. It's not, because there's so many concealers that I know that we come across that we know that we literally can only use for specific things on specific parts of our face. This is not one of those. Very, very good concealer. The best concealer that I've ever used in my life, hands down. The second concealer that I have here is by a Nigerian brand called Flawless IV, and it's their liquid concealer highlight. I love this. One thing about the two faces is that the, the color range is very broad. Um, this one, the color range is decent. It's not as broad as what you get with the Too Faced Bond this way, but it's very, very affordable. The last time I bought these, they were like selling for about 3000 or something i know that with the economy now it's probably gone up but not by much i am sure but this if you're looking for an affordable concealer buy a nigerian brand even not buy a nigerian brand this concealer is so good it works amazing it works great like it gives you very very good coverage it blends out well it does not dry out mid application it gives you the exact type of highlight that you need it's just amazing so if you're looking for concealers to try out sometimes i even like to use these two together if i want a much brighter under eye i like to use this one and then go over it with what i have here which is the flawless ivy fl02 um, concealer okay so the next two products that i have here are setting powders and they are from the same brand i'm sorry i don't have two different brands for this so first one that i have here is the laura messier translucent setting powder this is my favorite setting powder for my immediate under eye area just to set highlighted parts of my face i also love to use this to set concealer as well i just love it i repurchase this all the time it works great i love the formula i love how fine the powder is I love the fact that you have like no color payoff to this and as a result it works for people with different skin tones okay for people who are much darker um laura messier has another one the translucent setting powder in medium deep which is much darker you guys can see that there's a color difference i love to use this or this works great as an all over setting powder for me um however for people who are much darker it's very very good for setting the immediate under eye area but these two when it comes to powder if someone is asking me what powder should i get for immediate under eye and for all over setting i will always recommend laura messier i've been using their powders for a very long time i think that they're the best one of the best in the market i just love it and trust me when i say i've used setting powders from different brands high and low and different brands i always come back to these two okay so good so the next two products that i have are powder bronzers okay and this is a must for anybody who does makeup if you do makeup you add dimension or depth back to your face you need a bronzer or a contour powder so the first one here is the huda beauty luminous press powder this is actually a press powder from them and it comes in different shades but i especially love to use this one to set my contour this is the rich the luminous press powder rich and i think that this is also a multi-use powder it's not necessarily powder for all over if you want a shade for this that you can use as an all over setting powder then that's fine if you want one to contour with that's fine i use this to contour and huda also recommends that you use the darker shades to contour if you need to really really love this very good 
very soft with this you get bits of shimmer not too much but just enough shimmer to give you like a wealth uh, not wealthy wealthy but healthy glow like if you're applying it like you're trying to go for that whole sun-kissed look this is so good okay the one that I love, love so much that you guys have also seen me use a lot here is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. It's a matte bronzer filter for face and body and this is deep, for number four deep, okay? It looks like this. One thing I love about this is the packaging. I think that when I was much younger and I'll play around with my mom's makeup, like their makeup used to be so like pretty like packaging like this just like i remember the first time i touched it touched this or saw this in store it reminded me of some of the packaging that you get with makeup uh, when i would see my grandma my auntie my mom's makeup like when i was much younger um a lot of the other designs we get now look very practical to me this just looks fancy for no reason and i love that but aside that the bronzer is really really good it will give you a very nice contour it is rich it is pigmented it is soft it's amazing. I know I've just talked about bronzing powders and setting powders and immediately after talking about these, I wanted to share another product. In case you do not want to spend money on these products individually, one other thing I'm going to recommend that you get then is the the Grill Palette by Dabota. This is a Nigerian brand. And the thing is, if you open this, you get a wide range of powders. So you get lighter colors that you can use to set your highlights with. You get colors that you can use to set your face with and then there are darker colors to contour with. This is a very good palette and I've tried quite a few of these and this is the one I know that I reach for the most. I've made proper dents in the powders and you guys can see that I actually do use this. This is a good one to try if you do not want to check out the individual products that I have shared. I'm not gonna be talking about eyeshadows in this video because I think that it's kind of an optional thing. Not a lot of people use it and the list is endless <laughs> depending on your mood, depending on the occasion, depending on so many things. I can't narrow it down to two. I'm really sorry, guys. So I'm just going to move on to other things, right? But um, Huda Beauty are kind of mentioned by brands. Anastasia Beverly Hills has some very good eyeshadows. Um, Dabota Cosmetics has some very good eyeshadows. ABH Huda Beauty, most of my eyeshadows are actually from these two brands. And then Dabota as well. Yeah, and Pat McGrath as well. Very high end, but her makeup feels like designer, like Pat McGrath eyeshadows. Let me show you guys an example. So this is a Pat McGrath palette, for example, and this palette is so heavy. The products here are so soft and rich. It's like the designer of makeup, I would say. So these brands that I've just kind of mentioned for eyeshadow, check them out and then maybe go through and look at the palettes that they have. But I don't have top two eyeshadow palettes even, okay? Okay. Do you know, like, guys, like, I've been wondering, like, I didn't do something when it comes to my makeup. I'm just realizing what it is. I did not apply, mas apply mascara in my immediate, like, I didn't apply mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't even know why I said immediate uh, on their eye. I think that that's what I, will only, I was about to say. Why can't I talk? Oh, my God. Okay, so talk. Up, let's talk about mascaras now. I have two. One is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. And I love this mascara a lot because it comes with two ends. There's one end for volume, okay? and there's another end that is for curl and length okay sorry okay so this is for volume i already touched that and then this is for curl and length i especially like to use these this particular one the one for curl and length because my eyes or my lashes are kind of short so this kind of gives me the length that i need i don't need volume as much as i need length so i like this end but this is a very good mascara and it's perfect it works for both the bottom lashes and the top lashes as well another mascara that i really really love and i've been using for ages is the ingla lash enhancer i really love this mascara guys love it um let me actually <laughs> sorry as i'm talking to you guys now i feel like i need to just apply a little mascara on my bottom lashes i can't believe i forgot to do this okay but this is good i really like the wand you get with this because it's perfect for separating the lashes that you have. Um, just your bottom lashes, I would say. So Inglot Lash Enhancer, guys. I really, really love it, okay? So next, eyeliner. And these two are my favorites. The first one is the Huda Beauty Life Liner Quick and Easy. This is in very brown. I tend to use this more than I use the black one because it's a very, very dark brown. And what you get with this liquid 
pen liner is the stuff of legends i would say this is what we hoped like six five years ago that pen liners could actually do i have not used gel liner since i started using this i have not even used liquid liner since i started using this this gives you such good control it is very very pigmented it does not dry out quickly you get decent use out of this very 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 good guys very good okay huda beauty delivers to nigeria you can order from their website i'm going to have a link of all of this in the description box okay and uh, the second eyeliner that i really really like is the charlotte tilbury um iconic liquid eye pencil rock and coal it looks like this and this is in black i love to use this to line my bottom like i also use it to line my upper line air uh, lash area sorry i also use it to line the upper part of my eyes but i love to use this to line my waterline it's so black and so pigmented like glides on like a gel like so 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 good it also does not make my eyes sting and let me tell you guys i have sensitive eyes so anything that just makes my eyes feel weird i do not like it at all and it sets when this pen pen when this pencil liner sorry when this pencil liner sets guys it sets it doesn't budge it doesn't start flaking no these are two very very good eyeliners if you're struggling with eyeliner if you feel like what you have keeps running if you feel like you need something that will not make your eyes sting try these two these are very 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 good so the next two products that i'm going to be sharing with you guys are blushes so i know that some of you do not think that black women need blushes i personally think that they add very good definition to the face i have a blush on right now and i think that it's complemented the makeup that i have on so well and the favorite so my favorite blush hands down i've been using this since the beginning of time since the beginning of this channel is max blush in raisin it's a very very good like the color is kind of what you get between like a very like nice fuchsia and a dark coral and it's perfect for people our skin tone okay this is one of max oldest blushes one of my favorite blushes i've gone through so many of these so so good so the next blush is by nars and this is taj mahal okay so next blush that i have here is by nars and this is taj mahal if there's one thing that i want for my girls of color it is to try orange blushes nothing will look luscious on your skin like an orange blush if all else fails and you don't even know what color to get get an orange blush if you wear red lipstick and you find that when you re wear red lipstick you're not sure what type of blush to use get an orange blush taj mahal is one of those beautiful this is actually a sample size that i have um and when i use this or finish this up then i get another full sized um another full-sized one but this is Nars's Taj Mahal is an orange blush and even if you consider like Taj Mahal to be too expensive I love it though but I understand that it could be too expensive for some people try an orange blush okay orange blushes are so good guys they look so so good on our skin tone okay these two products I love them they blend out so well another thing again about Taj Mahal is that it has some shimmer in it so it also gives you this very nice subtle glow it's not just a straight up powder blush it gives you a nice glow because it has some shimmer in it as well the last I have three more products and then that will be it so the next two that I have here are lip glosses and the first one is this one by Kiko and it's a nice like I'd say flesh toned blush it's a number 20 it's their 3d hydra gloss but this shade is in 20 i love it so much it's so gorgeous and it works as an like a very very good or it works as a very very good everyday type of lip gloss for me okay another gloss that i really really love is this one by nars as well i think i've actually mentioned quite a few nars products here and this is actually it's so crazy because I I didn't the only thing I used to use from Nars back in the day was a concealer but I love their products I love Charlotte Tilbury products too now Nars very good and this is their loaded lip lacquer this color is playing around I have this on the center of my lips right now I think it's a very very gorgeous like highlight color for especially when we do the brown lip pencil this is a very very good color to apply on the center it's a very nice gloss i really really love it okay so the next two products that i have here are eyeshadow primers um the first one is the mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base i talk about this so much but guys this is like the best eyeshadow primer there is hands down as far as 
I'm concerned. It does not have any color payoff to it. So it's one of those primers that is safe to use no matter what color you plan to apply on your eye area. It just gives you very, very good base for that. It also controls oil like no other primer that I have tried. If there's one thing MAC has gotten right, it is this primer. It is so, so good. I've been using it for ages, you guys know, but it's a lovely, lovely primer and I'll recommend this to everyone, beginners, pros, people who are just struggling. If you have oily skin and you find that your, your eyeshadow creases a lot because of the oil you produce, like me, this is a good primer to try, okay? And the next one that I'd recommend, but however, this one has some color payoff to it. This is the P. Louise base and this is in Rumor 4. And it comes in different shades. I especially like Rumor 4 because Rumor 4 is around the same shade as my skin tone. So it gives you, me like a flesh colored base, especially maybe when I'm trying to do like a neutral look. This is a very good primer to use. And um, they have different colors. They even have a pure white one for when you want to do like very, very bright colors. But P. Louise's base in Rumor 4 is a very, very good, very, very good eyeshadow primer. So even if it's not Rumor 4, the formula is largely the same, but their are bases, P. Louise, very good, okay? Very, very good. The last product that I have here, it's not like there's no second number two. This is just like my favorite right now. There's a second one I wanted to show you guys, but I was like, Dima, does it even compare? Not really, no. So my favorite setting spray at the moment is this, and this is just what I want to show you guys, okay? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It says party all night, stay all day. That's very true, okay? This is a very good setting spray. You apply this all over, your makeup doesn't budge. You apply this all over, your makeup softens in a very, very nice way. You don't deal with creasing as much. It just helps everything settle nicely and last. I love it so much, nothing compares. So I think that is something that I wanted to just put here. I feel so sad because I broke the cover recently, but this is a very, very good setting spray. And I would recommend this, especially for people with combination to oily skin. It says no melting, no fading, no creasing. And this is all largely true. And I've tried a lot of setting sprays. At a point I didn't even use to use them because I thought that they were a waste of my time. So if I'm telling you guys that the setting spray is good, this one is good. So check it out if you guys want, okay? That will be it for this video. I think it was very, very quick and straight to the point. Um, I'm going to also leave a list in the description box so that it'll just make it very easy for you guys to shop or just like look at it, if, look at these products individually and decide if you want to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.